Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian. And today, in our practical making, we are going to be using some cardboard cutouts, which we'll paint with gold paint, and then construct a geometric lamp that you can use fake tea light candles in. Let's take a look, see what you got in your bags, and we'll go from there. Okay, so first and foremost is all of these pentagons, a ton of them. You should have gotten a tea light candle that you can turn on and off. Um, small thing of gold paint. You should have gotten a paintbrush, a small roll of tape, and in addition to the gold, a small container of glue. So we're gonna open the gold paint and you'll notice that there are, the hexagons, pentagons, excuse me, come in sets of five. And we are going to kind of set out each set and then paint it. You want to keep that set together because um, each one will make one of those geometric shapes. Um, the gold paint should go on pretty smoothly. I think you'll want to do a double coat that makes it just a little more shinier and it looks a little less like cardboard then. Um, it dries really fast so you should be able to get through these pretty quick. Um, I just put on a podcast or a television show or a song you like, and before you know it, you will be done. And as soon as you've got all of your set of five painted and it's dry, that's when we're going to break out the glue. Um, and basically, these are going to sort of overlap at the corners. So each one will be offset from the one before it, and then that one will be offset. There should be just enough room for each of the corners to get glued onto the piece in front and then you'll sort of decide how much light you want peeking through if you want to use that last little one or not. I did on mine. So again, take your paintbrush and just kind of hit the corners of each one of these. And once you have gotten all of the corners with, you know, not a ton of paint, excuse me, not a ton of glue, um, that's when you'll want to just make sure that those corners overlap on the piece in front of it. And I push it down just a little bit to make sure that the adhesion is good, but you don't have to use a lot of force. And then you just continue on to the next one. And you just want to do this for all of your sets of hexagons until you have a bunch of little piles that look just like this geometric pattern right here. And then we will go over how you're going to actually shape them into that lamp. So what I'm going to have you do is kind of look at how the shapes go together and that will help you figure out how you're going to form it. So these three flat sides will kind of end up sitting like this. And to get them to all line up, will start to give you the rounded shape so you don't have to really worry about the angles as much. And I'm going to show you how to do this with some tape and once it's all taped you can put glue on the outside. If you have a hot glue gun you are more than welcome to use it. I just didn't have um, enough to send home <laughs> a hot glue gun with everybody. So I'm using masking tape and I've given you all a, a small roll of that and you're basically just going to go side by side to attach all of these together. The first ones start out pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Getting that last one to fit in might take a little bit of finagling. Um, there we go, attach those two together. And then you'll, you'll kind of see what I mean. Getting the last two to line up here will start giving you the curve that you need to get the rest of the lamp in position. See how that starts to take shape and it also gives you sort of the edges where you can insert some glue to, to make sure that it's super solid. 
and you're kind of going to pick one of those to be the center and then you're going to apply hexagons all around every single one of those five edges. But it's a pretty, you know, it's pretty straightforward. It just takes a little bit of time. Okay. Again, you can start to see that that shape taking place. And again, you can, you can kind of see how it's almost like you have a center and then you're putting the petals off to each side. So this will be the, the fourth sort of petal that I'm adding on to my centerpiece here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the two sides together and then we'll add on that very last petal. Gotta get a little more tape here. Okay. And then, as you've seen, I'm just gonna make sure that those edges line up and that'll sort of give me that curve and you can see right where that last piece is going to go not the last piece but the last piece on this bottom part so I'm going to get my three pieces of tape already and then when I put that last piece on um, you'll have a half dome and then you'll just add sort of one more ring around those edges and you'll, you'll pretty much be set. With those six in place, we're going to add on the last five, and that is going to give you the rest of your dome. There will be one empty spot in the middle, and that is where I will show you how to sort of perch it on the tea light. I'm not going to fix it permanently because we want to be able to turn it on and off. All right. So you'll have some of these left over, and I just took my two kind of middle-sized ones. Um, one of them will be kind of the right size for that tea light to just kind of sit right in. Um, and I'm going to leave that untaped. Um, so once you've got that, then you can kind of line up the edges. So straight edge, straight edge, and just kind of set your dome right on top of it. Um, and the reason that I'm not making that more permanent is because you want to be able to turn your tea light on and off, replace the batteries if you want to. All right, guys, I hope that was pretty simple to follow along with. Thanks for following along, and I hope we will see you back next month. Our January practical making is going to be a perpetual calendar. So have a good couple of weeks, guys. Hope to see you soon. Bye.